Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on this channel. You were asking for Minecraft Java with shaders. This is it. I'm going to test Minecraft on uh, a couple of systems in the next upcoming days. Uh, this is the first one. We are right now using the Intel Core i5-7400. A quad core CPU, a 16 gigabytes of DDR4 dual channel RAM, and the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 3 gigabyte edition. I'm already in Minecraft and I've installed this shader pack, classic one, um, and it's not that hardware hungry compared to newer ones. Yeah, on the bottom you can see. We are using the latest uh, NVIDIA driver, and here is again uh, the NVIDIA GeForce GDX 1063GB shown. I left everything at pretty much stock settings um, using uh, render quality, shadow quality, simply stock, uh, and anti lazing is off. I'm also not using any dynamic lights is completely off. Uh, render distance is on 8 chunks and simulation distance is at 12 chunks. Also everything at stock. Okay, so let's jump into the benchmark. Even at stock settings, uh, Minecraft is pretty well playable. You can see the CPU is getting maxed out sometimes when loading a new area. Right now um, we are at a GPU bottleneck in here. Graphics are really looking good. And to be fair, even at our current 39 FPS in average, um, this is this is playable. But nevertheless, this is a benchmark video, so we are going to test out different settings now. Okay, um, I made some changes in the settings. Um, to be fair, to take some load of the GPU, I had to reduce the render quality and the shadow quality. Um, I took graphics fast, smooth lightning off, reduced the render distance, simulation distance slightly. Um, but I made no additional changes, so let's have a look now how this is going to perform. And it's it's way way better because of obviously higher FPS values. You now before it was playable, now I would call it well playable, and it's still looking very very good. It's still lo looking very fine. Of course, a huge improvement compared to using no shaders in graphics and if you've got the available power in your system like with a GDX 1060 I mean it's obviously not a powerhouse this car is uh, by no means uh, up to date performance wise but it's still good enough to deliver an okay experience here in Minecraft Java with shader pack I think we can even crank up the render distance again yes still values above 50 most of the time Let's have a look 
get the bar to puzzle. Now it's it's working fine. Okay, that that was interesting before. Switch back to Renacoi T and Shadowcoi T both one time. Because I personally would be totally fine with playing it at an average of 40 FPS. I mean if you if you're using a shader pack you are probably okay with lower FPS values because else you would be using a shader pack. Uh, this is really, really looking good. Beautiful graphics. Okay, that was Minecraft on the... Uh, Intel Core i5 7400 and the GTX 1060 3 gigabytes um, using the shader pack from Zeus. Overall, a pretty good experience now in this demanding area. Only averaging 32 FPS, but uh, still playable. And if you want more FPS, even when using shaders, simply reduce the render quality. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm even going to test additional systems in the next upcoming days. Probably also slower systems than this one. Uh, let's see how they are going to perform. Like the Intel Core i3 10100 without dedicated GPU only with integrated graphics this is surely going to be very interesting i hope you liked this benchmark video if you do feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel stay safe and have a great day hopefully see you all in the next one goodbye